it's time to go. Right on. What's up? It's Walter. It's Quinn. Ah! All right, motherfucker. The light bearer. It's all about the light bearer. <laughs> all right, we are going to talk about football, <clears throat> motherfucker. All right, and football. And free agency. Football. football. First, let's talk about the moves that have gone on this week as I flex into the camera. <laughs> um, Dude. Today, Antonio Brown got <laughs> traded. Dude, Antonio Brown to is such a Raiders. fucking pain in the ass. You know, I, I heard so much about this guy lately. About and it's really fake news. It's this ridiculous. I mean, I don't know. I if, mean, I mean, I don't know if I want him to get. He's posting pictures of himself. He's posting videos of himself on Twitter and calling himself Mr. Big Chest. But I and he's. I think the worst <laughs> thing. He bleached his mustache and only his mustache. But I, honestly, I didn't know if I wanted this guy to get traded or hit by a fucking bus. You I, know what I'm I saying? Like I Antonio mean, Brown, man. I I, I'm not saying I don't man. like him, but it's just like enough already, man. Like you know, he wanted to get traded. How much he fucking won. money do you need, man? He won, and he got a how new deal. How much money do you need? He got a new deal from the fucking Raiders. That's the amazing thing, dude. This dude. guy's winning football what, in all What is he ways. gonna buy? What does he fucking buy? How much money does he need, dude? What does it Seriously. matter? What does what, it matter? What does he buy? How much does Robert Kraft fucking, need? How, how much does six point six billion dollar Robert Kraft need? Yeah, but what, uh, yeah, but Robert Kraft's not holding out. Yeah, he is. Rob Kraft's not Dude, he I'm underpays just, Tom Brady all the time. They don't pay shit for their players. What, and I'm not saying you what? should overpay or underpay. I'm just saying I'm happy for a player winning it out, man. That is, I think that is what, how, He material. won out. He went to, got to trade He's the getting $20 million this year okay. from the right. Steelers. He's also getting... Twenty million. He's gonna get another ten million from the fucking or eighteen million from the. <laughs> but I'm saying like what you know, twenty, Raiders. fifteen, whatever. I mean, what's the difference to him? What what's he buying, man? He's gonna be fucking broke by the time he's forty anyway, dude. I mean, what the fuck, what dude? Bro, what, what's he? Dude, what's he buying? Dude, car watches now. Like, dude, dude he, talk to these some of these fucking all talk right, to some all of right. these athletes, dude. Let, you know? Let's get off of Antonio Brown's dick. <laughs> Because there'll be plenty of time to talk about Antonio Brown's dick. Dude. Let's talk about some other moves Dude, that have happened. I'm the Browns traded with the Giants this week. They traded Kevin Zeitler, a guard. Oh, we got a guard. Yeah, I know. The Giants yeah, got a guard. And, yep. and the Browns got Olivier Vernon, the pass rusher. I like this deal for both sides. There's some. It was a player-for-player player trade. And I'm, and I'm a Browns fan. I was a little nervous about it because I like Zeitler. I know they have Austin Corbett, the guard. That they drafted I'm last year in the fan. second round, and uh, <laughs> but I like Olivier Vernon, and actually PFF posted like they would have uh, the Browns now have the seventh best pass rush uh, pass rush productivity for a pass rusher in Miles Garrett, and the eighth best. Dude, that defense is gonna be sick, and that's not talking about Emmanuel Ogba or Ogan Joby or Jannard Avery. So, dude, I like the trade for the Browns, and actually, I like the trade for. For uh, the Giants, because the Giants probably need to reset on defense anyway. They probably need to get a whole new, you know, they, they switched schemes last year. Vernon, I, and Vernon did okay in the scheme, but I think, w especially if you're, you, no matter what you're going to do, if you're going to stick with, uh, if you're going to stick with Eli, or you're going to go with a rookie, or you're going to go do both, like some teams have done in the past, like if they take Dwayne Haskins, I think what, it's a great thing for them to build up that O-line, which they need to do. So now they have Will Hernandez. They have Nate Solder. Nate Solder's a, a, an average tackle. Will Hernandez is a good guard. They're going to have Jalapio in the, as center. And they're going to have Zeitler playing right guard. And that's a good team right there. Maybe they'll go for Jawan James I, I, in free I, I agency, think, a guy yeah, who is on the top yeah. of my free agent targets for a team. Because like, that I is think, a good I think tackle. whenever I hear you right say, tackle. whenever I hear you say you're a Browns fan, it's weird. I feel like I'm in a dream. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't hear people say that a lot. <laughs> Dude, I got the hat. I got the clothes. I got a picture of the when girl. I, when I hear you say with, that, with my hat on. And, then, and then I go from that to just feeling bad for you. But, no, it was a good year. It was a good year. Dude, we got Baker Mayfield. It was, I li you know, when I liked Baker Mayfield from the second I saw him? Um, I think I, I think the Giants, man, you just never know what the Giants. They find a way to fuck everybody up. They find I, a way to mess everybody. Oh, I think they should have kept Olivier Ber uh, Vernon. I think you know. I think I, it depends. I just don't know. I don't know about. I don't. I don't first. know enough about linemen. I don't sit around and study linemen and like what does he eat? How's his bowel movement? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not. I don't know that shit like that. But Olivier Vernon, you know what I'm he's saying? Good. He's but, good. But I, I think, know he's good already. I know he's good already. 
And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I know what's good, that's what I want. I agree. No, not for nothing. I agree with you on that. If you have a guy who you, and that's why I was you just worried said about you getting like rid of Zeitler. I, I said, liked. You, I liked. You, you can't. You can't be on both sides, bro. I could. I could say that you could be cynical and optimistic at the same time. <laughs> it's called being a fucking phony. <laughs> no, you can be cynical of something, but optimistic at worst. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Cynicism is not the opposite right. of optimism. Pessimism is. Okay. All right. Okay. Whatever. No, you say. I like that trade. I do think it was a good trade. I like. Uh, and I, I'm I, I'm worried as a Browns fan because I like Zeitler. Zeitler was one of the best O linemen they had. They're trading him away. They hopefully believe the in the is, guard that they why, have. That they why were they trading him, him away? Why did they trade him away? Because he had a cap so, hit. Because he had a what? He had a high cap hit, and they have a guard in waiting. What's a cap hit? What's that? So in the NFL, everybody plays by these rules. Like they have the NFL, they have the cap, right? Oh, a cap hit. I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought, you, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you meant like a calf. I thought something was wrong with his fucking calf. No, 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 no. No, he's great. He's healthy. He's great. He's oh, a cause, solid cause, guard. Because they were paying him a lot. No, he, you know, he, I know, I know who he is. He's a good guard. No, no, no. He, and, and, and the other thing is, is they drafted a guy in the second round last year who I yeah. guess they really believe in. And if the thing is, is because. No, and because he's on the rookie contract, what, you're what, basically yeah. getting out from well, that deal. Well, what they're doing, is they're because of the, the running back, what's his name? Uh. On the Browns or on the, the Giants? Giants. Oh, Saquon Barkley. Saquon yeah, you want to give him some because uh, of that. Room the, the, yeah, well, that, that's the thing. That's that's their thing. Is see, I will say see, this, now we we're doing something for Saquon. We're doing something for Saquon. I will say this: uh, Zeitler's a better pass blocker than he is a run blocker. He's still good, but it's I, I, again he had probably he was one, uh, that line was one of the top pass blocking efficiencies from the interior last mm. year. So Zeitler's a great guard to have. He's gonna. I, I listen. I think that. This is one of those things where, given with the direction they're going, especially it sounds like the uh, the the Giants are going to draft a quarterback. Maybe not this year. Maybe they take a D lineman this year, but they're going to get one in the next two years, right? So if the Giants are taking a quarterback, and they want to keep Eli upright, and they want to let the guy learn on the and let the new guy learn on the bench, I think they should have gotten doing. Case Keenum, man. I think they should have gotten Case. I like Case Keenum, dude. I'm telling you, I, I like, thought, so I like Case now. Keenum. The, what do you think about the? Okay, so I know you're not a Redskins fan. I hate the Redskins. I I just there's certain that dude's teams a douche. I dislike. The guy's a fucking retard that owns the Redskins. What's his name? Snyder. He's a fuck. He's an he's an idiot. Everybody yeah. thinks this guy's an idiot. Talking about people with money, he's an idiot. The guy ruined the fucking franchise. Joe Gibbs should go kick that guy's ass. Him and Joe Gibbs should have a fucking <laughs> steel cage match. You know what I mean? Tell me. That, that dude and Joe Gibbs shouldn't have a fucking steel cage Let's match. get back to the, the – I, I agree because you know what? They let Kirk Cousins walk, and Kirk Cousins is a is – a just fucked everything up, dude. They had Mike Shanahan. They, they were like, no, Mike so Shanahan. Much, yes, well, that's let's another get, one. Let's get yeah. rid of Mike Shanahan. Like, what the fuck are you – you know, like, this is – I don't know. I, I'm not – tell you the truth, I'm not the biggest Mike Shanahan fan. But, I mean, the guy did win two Super Bowls, so, I mean, whatever. It, it You know, it is what it is. But what about that? So that was a good trade, I think, on the part of the Redskins. It's one of the few trades I've ever actually looked at the Redskins and went. I mean, they're going to be a middling yes, team. Yes, it's next a great year. trade for them. Abs Mark my words right now on this podcast. Case Keenum's going to have a great year. I like Case Keenum. Except there's he one can, issue. Who's he, can, he throwing to? He can be a top ten quarterback. I'm telling you that right now. He's got Anthony he's got Quinn. Good line. Anthony Quinn said it on Wojo's podcast. Case Keenum can be a top ten quarterback. I. I don't know if I think he'd be a top and ten. Watch but he's how at quick. Least in the top I, watch how quick I would take Case Keenum over that douche that Dallas has. What's his name? Oh, I like him over Dak. Watch, watch. Boom. I like him over Dak watch Prescott. how quick I take him over Dak Prescott. Bam. I I think Dak Prescott is is a it is it reminds me a lot of Tyrod Taylor. Won't throw unless you're really open. No, I think Tyrod Taylor's but Tyrod Taylor's way more athletic. Uh, Dak Prescott's borderline fat. First of all, the, the well, guy, he's bulky. He's he is big. bulky. He's borderline he's not... fat. He's big. I, I like it that he's big, but he just he just doesn't have enough talent. I think they rushed on him. I think they should have kept Tony Romo. I, 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 I well, think the problem was Romo got injured. You had the guy play for the whole year. And he had a what decent year. What are you going to do, bench him? He had a decent – yes. You're gonna yes, you fucking bench him. Play or Tony you, you bring Tony Romo. You tell Tony Romo, you, we got your back, man. I, what, what I mean, they, I think they kind of they fucked Tony there? Romo. I think Jerry Jones Of course Jones they did. Him. But actually, no, Tony Romo's – Tony but now Romo. he's the best. You now he's the best commentator it, in all sports. Dude, right now anyway. it, you know what sucks for him is that he won't be in the Hall of Fame. But you know, honestly, 
you know, whatever. He, maybe he'll come back. Maybe. I love that Jason Witten's coming back. I am so fucking happy Jason Witten's coming back. So am I because I, I watch Monday Night Football. Love and he it. was horrible. They, they say he was. I didn't watch enough of Monday Night Football. It was hard to watch. You know what happened? It the, was hard to watch. You know watch. what happened with the Monday Night Football is, is they put like four people together that had never worked together, four or five people together that never worked together. And it's hard, man. You got like Booger McFarlane and shit. This is fucking. You got this guy. You got the, it's just it, it. The chemistry's hard, man. That's why you got it. They they would always have like two or three, and then just one person. They just it's just it, it, it's hard. I I thought he was okay. Mm-hmm. I thought Jason Witten. I thought they put a little too much on him. I thought maybe they should have had him maybe on the sideline or something at first, or 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 they should have bought him in slower. They tried to really just put it. Put it right to him. Yeah. I mean, I wish, honestly, my, my dream would have been Joe Thomas being on Monday Night Football. Because I've listened to Joe Thomas' Who podcast. Who fuck is Joe Thomas? Left tackle for the Cleveland Browns, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, but for legit, like, all, he's, he's one of the best left tackles he's ever played. Okay. And But he's a very he's got a very good is media he good? Is personality. He, well, well, he's a good is – he, is, he's a play-by-play guy, or is he a well, – he's, he an, he's an analyst? So he's actually said he doesn't even want the job anymore. Like he he doing what? Him and Witten were both up for the same job. Because it Witten is an analyst, right? Yeah, he would have been doing the same yeah. thing. Witten's Witten's an analyst, and then there's play by play. The problem is, is that they didn't the play by play people they had for Monday Night Football weren't that good. You got to have somebody really good play by play to go with the analyst, especially if the analyst is is not um as green like Jason Witten was. Anyway, I'm sorry you're talking about your boy there. What's his name? You were talking about Dak Prescott. No, you were talking about your your butt buddy there. What's his name? Oh, Joe Tom. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, okay. By the way, left tackles don't get enough. Uh, <laughs> like, O-linemen deserve a lot more credit. Like, if you look at it, O-line. <laughs> fuck, fuck you and the Cleveland Browns, man. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. What team do you like? I've actually been to Cleveland, dude. I partied in the flats, all right? So, so get off my back. I've been to the Hall of Fame. I've been to the Football Hall of yeah, Fame. Yeah, but what team do you like? I'm a Giants fan. You are a Giants fan. That's why I was, I was trying fan. to pry into that. All right, so you're going to have a couple of miserable years in front of you. <sighs> I, you know, but see, that's the thing with did the Giants. Did you realize that you're – They ha- have to. They have a great team. Did the Giants uh, – honestly, no way. The Giants should have a great fucking year next year. Well, look at the talent they have. They have uh, 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 Saquon Barkley. I, I just have a question, though. Uh, uh, did you Shepard? realize your GM is from Boston? Yeah, I don't. He, that dude, I don't know what that dude is. He's, he's, he's Dude, ever hear him talk? You can't tell if he's saying quarterback or quarterback. Yeah, he's he's a Jewish guy. As long as you know, no, he's from Boston. It's a Boston accent. What, what, what's his last name? Gettleman. Yeah, he's a Jewish guy. Yeah, he's saying quarterback. He's a Jewish guy. Yeah, you know, like, gotta go well, out, draft the yeah. quarterback, and maybe get draft the cornerback. Put, put the Jewish guy as the GM and keep the black guys on the field. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get taken off of whatever this is going on. YouTube, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's funny, man, because my friend, used to, we used to always joke in. We were Knicks fans, and we used to always get mad when they put the white guys in. Like, get the white guy off the fucking court. <laughs> all right, all right. We're diverting too much from here. Uh, other moves no, that have man. happened this week. Uh, the Chiefs today released uh, Justin Houston. Really? Yeah. I wow. mean that was that was rumored to have happened. It was rumored to be happening oh, for already. Cap hit? For cap hit? Um. Well, yeah. It freed He's a good up a pass rusher, right? Freed up fifteen million. Well, they had just franchise tagged D Ford, and they're releasing Justin Houston <coughs> because I think they're gonna they're trying to free up some cap space to go ahead and pay you know Tyree Kill eventually, or maybe they're gonna go after some people in free agency. Mm. Um. I think they're gonna try and trade. Uh, D- There's a lot of rumors about trading D Ford because they're switching to a four three. Maybe they'll try to draft somebody this year as well. They also got the uh, Chris Jones, the D lineman, who did fucking amazing, dude. He was a, he's a good D lineman. Um, well, okay, well, okay. So they had like three solid D line, uh, okay. three three pass rushers. Chiefs, that were doing the Chiefs, great. yeah, okay. the Chiefs. And that's why they let that go. That guy go. It's tough. Mo- that guy's a name though. It's yeah, tough. well, he's he's so, thirty. He. I, honestly, I, I can't wait to see where he lands. And, honestly, I think the and, Giants would be a good team to land him. And these because days, they do need to fix some of their defensive issues, and getting rid of Vernon and then signing Justin Houston would actually probably be a cool idea. And what do you think about them letting Landon Collins go, man? I'm actually shocked that uh, did well, he Landon, go? He didn't I go yet, didn't though. Think, he yeah, didn't well, go yet. no, they haven't. He hasn't gone yet. He hasn't gone anywhere but, yet. But they said free agency is going to open up this week. They can't. They, they said no to the franchise. They're not going to franchise tag him, but they said he's going to go though. Well, they're not gonna not gonna pay him what he wants. He's gonna go somewhere else. Yeah. Well, the problem is the safety market is very. Uh, it, it's one of the it, next to running back. It's probably one of the most devalued positions. 
Yeah, he's he's a run safety. But that's the problem with him. Is he's, he's not great in coverage. He, he, he's he, good, he, but he's not he, great. He's not. He's not really. He's uh, like. He, he, but he's a, a bit of a liability. Safety. Uh, I, I again. He but he. The cool thing for him is he could probably play nickel linebacker or play linebacker the, 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 and be a lot more serviceable as a player. I like Landon I mean, Collins he's good, yeah, but because it, like, he's like freaking, you know, he's like uh, he's like Rambo, you know, he's like he's, he gets all hyped up, he gets into it. He's a leader of the defense. He's, he's a leader. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I like that shit. I like that. But that only goes so far. In the NFL these days, you know, it's like it's talent, man. Yeah, it's all about talent. Well, I think talent, he's got, talent, I think talent, I think a lot of people know. have tagged him for the Chiefs because the Chiefs have uh, you know, they just signed Steve Spagnuolo as their defensive if, coordinator. If the, these defensive guys, you see, like these these defensive guys for the for like the, the the other teams, they're these old guys, these old like like white gray guys. They, this is what they're making millions of dollars. They're yeah. gonna expose you, man. They're gonna ex- they're gonna find your weakness and they're gonna expose you. So when you're shopping, when you're doing this stuff, you, it's about talent, man. It's not about oh, this guy's a good guy. No, okay, he's. It's nice if they're a so, good guy. So all right, good maybe he could spots. be. Maybe good he could babysit your Justin fucking Houston. kid, but I don't want him as my. All right, safety. good landing all right. spots for Justin Houston, and good landing spots for. Landon oh, it'd be Collins. great to great to have him on the Giants. Giants, uh, Jets, um, you know, a couple of three four teams would probably be the best spots for him. But I could see him going with the Browns as a four three. But because he's got the ties to John Dorsey, who drafted him, I don't, him I don't know enough deal. about him as a player. Like if he's a head case or whatever. If I think Landon Collins is probably going to either end up with the Colts or with the Chiefs. Uh, mm-hmm. And he's going to be an interesting player because if you use him right, you're going to get a lot of use out of him, and you're going to get oh, a good he's player. A, Landon Collins is, a, is is a great player. He's a star. He just doesn't fit in the Giants scheme right now. Jags um, released a whole bunch of players this week. They released Deshaun Gibson. They released uh, Malik Jefferson. They released uh, uh, their right tackle. Uh, who 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 are they thinking about getting for quarterback again? Nick Foles. Oh yeah, did they get him? Well, he, the free agency hasn't opened up. Oh yeah, that's up. right. That's yeah, why yeah, 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 doing yeah. This pre-game yeah, about yeah. I know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what this show's about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Speaking I think, of which, what do you think of Nick Foles? Do you think he's a real I think starter? Philadelphia, I think they're retards. I, think I they should, disagree. I think I – think, well, What do you mean retards? Like that they're not keeping him, yes, not franchise tagging him? Yes, they should keep Nick Foles, him. and I think he should start. And what, think, get rid of Carson Wentz? I don't know what they should do with Carson Wentz. I don't know. I I, I think you keep Carson Wentz. I think Carson Wentz is clearly Okay, what has he done, though? He gets hurt all the time. He was he the reason hurt. why they were in the Super Bowl last year. He gets hurt. Year. He gets hurt, and then Nick Foles forget, comes Don't in. forget that when Carson Wentz played last year. I know. I know you like Carson Wentz because he's a redhead and stuff. And he's your, hey, Ginger Magic, motherfucker. He, he's, your, he's your great Ginger. Ginger hope. Magic. And you know what? Carson Wentz seems like a tough guy. He does. But you know what? Tough. I don't need him to be tough. I don't need him to be good. You know what I'm saying? Nick Foles is. I think. Good. I think it was a mistake that they rushed tough, him back this but year. He's good. You know. Like, but Nick, you, well, you, Nick you Foles me, wasn't good in the beginning you, of the gonna, year. You're gonna trade. You're gonna trade fucking M- for Super Bowl MVP. You can get rid of that douche. You're gonna keep the guy who gets hurt every year. We'll see how that works out. I hope it works out for them, man. I mean, I think Actually, in the long I don't, run, Eagles fans are a bunch of assholes. Yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I, I, fuck the Eagles. <laughs> Eagles fans, they win, like, they riot, they lose. Yeah, the they more riot. success they get, the more miserable they are. I think they need to lose for a couple decades. Yeah, so so good. Get rid of Nick Foles. Get rid of Nick. Get rid of the fucking winning guy. And, uh, but yeah, I think everybody's tied him so far with uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, and I think that's why they're freeing up all this cash. Honestly, I know pe- people. Pe- I say this right. I'm gonna say this, and everyone thinks I'm crazy. I, I, I honestly think that people were pretty hard on Blake Bortles. I do. Everybody hates Blake fucking Bortles, and honestly, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't think he. I don't think he's that freaking bad. I he's n- no, I don't he, think he's that bad. I think he's a, he's a backup quality he, player. I, I do not think he is. I do not think he should be a starter in the NFL. I don't think he's top ten. I I just think the thing is, I he think he himself admits that he is not a natural thrower of the football. But they put they put so much pressure on this guy, and like uh, they had that one guy. What's his name? The silver. The the they had the. the I think he's a league He did a whole show on Blake Bortles being bad. Like, they were like, these people riding on top of the guy's back, man. And it's like, let the guy play football. Let He was like, he, he had like, a, it was like he was a rookie. Let, let him play. Well, who's that other guy that everybody's on his back? I want to, I want to start, I, w- I want to have him on the show. The, 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 the guy that was, um, uh, the San Francisco guy. Kaepernick? Peterson. P- Peterman? Peterman. Is oh, Peterman? Nate Peterman? 
Nate, Nathan Peterman, the guy who played for the Bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he threw like yeah. 30 picks in one game. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, he, he threw a threw bunch some of picks. Decent picks to, he, he threw some decent passes too. He threw six picks to the Chargers in, in one game. I don't think he threw that six. That was only in it a It wasn't half. six. It wasn't six. It was, it was like five. It was not. It was like three or three It or was four or five. What, what, whatever it was, like, it was, it was whatever it was, he when still, they benched Tyrod he still Taylor. got a fucking job in the NFL, all right? He's still working in the NFL. Well, he's on a rookie contract. Like, you get him as a – he's a, no, a certified he's, backup. He's working in the fucking NFL. Yeah, right now he's so a So if I farm. was that dude, I would be like, you know what, Mike Wilbon, kiss my fuck. I would tell you, me, I want, I want a cage match with Mike Wilbon. That's what I want out of this broadcasting thing. <laughs> you you want to blow Mike Wilbon? <laughs> no, I want a cage, a cage match with him. I want a fucking wrestling cage match with him. That dude – no, actually, I don't mind Mike Wilbon that bad. There's some other people I, I want to take more shots at. Where the, you know what? Like everybody's talked about Nick Foles. The two quarterbacks I really want to know where they land: Teddy Bridgewater, Tyrod Taylor. You, you know, because those are guys who have, who have shown starter quality level. Yeah, Tyrod is probably a is is a, a step up from uh, honestly. Blake Tyrod Bortles. Taylor, I don't think he has enough upstairs. I hate to say this. I upstairs think he, or upside? Upstairs. I I don't think he's I don't think he's um. I don't think he has um like he has it together enough. Like I think he's I think he's actually a good leader in the like I no, no, I follow the Bills. When I say I upstairs follow... I mean like um like it, it, he's he's just all athletic. Like he can't I don't think he has enough I don't well, think he has enough grace. I don't think he has I, enough I don't grace agree. I think his issue is he will not throw somebody open. He he will not throw to you it's like the Alex Smith syndrome. Alex Smith will not throw unless somebody's really open. Like, that's why he was never a very big downfield passer until he had a, a receiver who could get three yards of separation at, like from Tyreek Hill. That was the only time he's ever been leading the league in deep passing was when he had a receiver that was just ridiculously fucking fast. Same thing with Tyrod Taylor. He had a good deep ball if he had a fast receiver, but he will yeah. not throw people you open. I, he's I not good with really like, solid route play runners. Enough. When I saw what I saw of Tyrod Taylor – was just that it seemed to me that he was more like running. It was more about running for him than it was. He was like a run first, pass second, and that's not my kind of quarterback. That's uh, not my he's kind not. Of quarterback. He's not. No, he's not a run first. But if his first or second read's not there, he'll dip his but, head. But that's but, that's his but issue. What he does is is he runs around with the ball. Well, like, I mean, what I saw some, him, some what I saw him do, do was he he friggin' like runs around, looks for a receiver, and he uses his athletic ability. To try to extend the play, which is fine. Yeah, and he's good at That's that. That's what Aaron Rodgers does too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but Aaron Rodgers does it to a whole different level. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers is like the Aaron expert Rodgers only does it elite level. He does it once or twice a drive. Fucking what's his face? Uh, the, the Tyrod Taylor, Axel Taylor, brake fluid Taylor, brake fluid. <laughs> he he freaking it's he Tarod, does it every by the play. Way. It's Tyrod. He does it every play though. You know what I'm saying? Like he's trying to extend the. I don't need you to extend. Every fucking play, I need you to pass it down and out. And then I need you to pass that down and out. And then when shit gets hairy, I need you to extend the play. Think, but Tyrod Taylor needs to extend every fucking play because well, he doesn't have the field vision, because he doesn't have it up here. He just doesn't have it. Well, I think there's two teams that he might go to. I think he might go to Miami. Actually, both these guys might go to Miami. I think Miami's tanking. I think Miami is just going to go Teddy ahead. Bridgewater, I just haven't seen him play enough. I think well, he hasn't so. played a lot in the last two years. He, he's kind of like one of those I guys. I think he deserves a fresh start. Honestly, I think he deserves no criticism at all because I haven't heard anything. I haven't really heard anything. Well, he destroyed his knee. Yeah. And, I, 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 and not like he did it to himself. Like, like, it just it happens. But, to, but, I mean, honestly, him too. I mean, I, I never really saw anything from him. Like, he th didn't really necessarily seem too confident. He doesn't me. seem that confident when he plays. I mean, I don't know. Does he? Am I wrong? I don't know. Well, he's I, I, he's Seems another kind of like one of those quiet guys. guy. Like he's kind of like a quiet guy. Like his his he, his he got body language. He his got body language was kind of closed and quiet. He got tagged with that kind of game manager uh, role. He uh, a lot like uh, Alex Smith. But I think he's he's Did more he? willing to th throw to his, like more willing to take chances, and he's uh, than Alex Smith was. I just he, the problem is he hasn't played in two years, so he needs to land with a team. He seems like where a, he has an opportunity he seems to play. Like a quiet guy to me though. He doesn't seem really like a leader. That's that. That was what I got from him. But I don't know. Maybe you know. I don't know the guy. I'll I, tell you this much: when he went down that year, everybody on the team was upset. They, were they upset. thought they were going to the playoffs. They thought they were going to go to the Super Bowl with Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And no joke. Like no, that team at that time loved him. 
I know. And when yeah. you're away from the game for two years, you know, you have a, a knee that's pretty much shredded. You weren't even sure you're going to ever be able to play again. Like, keep in mind, that knee injury, he could have lost his leg. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, what else is going on? Um, well, let's look at some running backs. Because right now we've got Le'Veon Bell and Tevin Coleman and Mark Ingram and Jay Ajayi all coming onto the market, man. We got some. Why is Jay Ajayi coming on the market? Why isn't Philadelphia keeping him? Because he's a running back, and you can draft a you can draft a running he... back in the fourth round every year. Yeah, but he running back he, salary he's is always very good, low. and he might he might Jay be Ajay back is on a one year deal good, though. He he always has a highlight. If he's in a game, he's always has a highlight. Yeah, I, and good. I like Ajay. One one of the issues with Ajay, Ajay was supposed to be like a second I think he's or third round pick because and Miami he dropped wanted to, the... to let him go. I, with this guy, he's from England, or isn't he English or something? He's got a British accent. Yeah, he, he lived in England for a he's bit. He's a wanker. He's a tosser. I like Jay Ajay, man. Uh, I think I th- hey Jay Ajay, you're a fucking wanker, okay? <laughs> but I think he's gonna only ca- he's not gonna command a big you're a wanker. deal. Don't go to the Giants, you wanker. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna come. I'm daring you go to the fucking Giants. I don't think he's gonna command a big deal, um, because he is he's actually been documented having knee issues, and then he had an well, ACL. He got hurt. He got hurt. Well, even before yeah. that, the reason why he dropped in the draft that year was he they had a red flag on his knee. Okay. So he dropped in the draft. Then uh he actually and it, that was a different knee. Okay. That was the other knee than okay. the one he tore the ACL. Right, so, so let's 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 talk about Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon um, Bell. Now th- this dude I love whoever, Le'Veon Bell. Whoever is gonna take this guy, I don't know the Jets. I don't, you're, you're either gonna be a genius be or Jets. you're smoking crack. There's like the, the, the you're either gonna look, dude. That's why the Jets. Oh, so either, that was something we didn't talk gonna, about. You're either gonna you, look fucking smart on. as hell. Time or out. You're gonna like look like. An Hang idiot. on. Did you hear this part? The Jets traded for Keekly Osemele from the Raiders. They just they swapped a fifth rounder for a sixth rounder, and the Jets got Kalishli Osemele, who's a guard, but he's a great guard, like an All okay. Pro guard. So the Jets are upgrading, man. The Jets are doing stuff for that O line that they they need to get done. I'm telling you. Mm. The Jets think this is their time, and I the think Jets they are going to go ahead and get uh, – the, the thing with the Jets the, – who, who's their coach now? Oh, they got the guy from the Dolphins? Yep. Adam Gase. He's a Gase. He's a fucking Gase. I like Adam Gase. He's all right. He seems I, all right. Although his, his, his media interview – Why did interview, Miami get rid of him, though? Why did Miami get rid of him? I think they were tanking, and – but he, he they was – They weren't tanking. They were competitive. This, see, Dude, this they're is the getting problem. rid of everybody, man. This is they the got problem rid of everybody. With everybody. The NFL, this is the fucking everybody. problem with the NFL is – is sometimes you have to look whether you're competing or not, okay? You have to think, okay, oh, maybe I lost some games that were really close. Was I competing? Was I really going to win a Super Bowl this year? Was I competing? Sometimes, you know I think. You understand what I'm saying, Wojo? No. You don't understand what I'm saying? I'm sa- Yeah, I understand what you're saying. The, football like, is a what? rough game. Everybody's going to compete. That's the problem. No, not everybody's going to compete. That's not what but I, everybody's I'm, playing for a job. Saying is, everybody's are, but, paying but for a job. They, but sometimes it's pretty fucking rec- hard to Sometimes tank. it's more than the record is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not just did you make the playoffs. It's not just the record. It's you know what I'm saying? It's are are you building a team? What's going on? What's happening? Yeah. And, and I, I thought Adam Gase, I thought he was building. A I team. I think he made that team overachieve. I think he was a really good coach. I think so too. I think it was personnel. I think it was the because they reassigned Mike Tannebaum. They so re- who did who did they hire? They hired somebody else now. Yeah, they have uh, Flores from the the, pa- the Patriots. You glad that I know this stuff for the podcast, right? <laughs> yeah, they have, they have Flores from the Patriots. Good thing I know it, right? Flores. And he's uh he's the defensive. He oh, that's used right. to be the yes, linebackers yes, yes. coach. Okay. He was, I saw he's been that. A defensive yes, I did. Guy I did in, see that. In and New that's England stupid. And that is stupid. They think they're gonna win with this douche because just he's from the Patriots. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. They gave away Adam Gase, and now Adam Gase is going to the Jets. The Jets can't win shit, and he thinks he can't win in Miami with all those players, and now he thinks he's going to win with the Jets. Well, who do you think is a better quarterback, Tannehill or Sam Darnold? (sighs) I think if Tannehill's healthy, it's Tannehill. How can you say? But he Sam got Donald? he got he got to the playoffs with Tannehill. Yeah, I know. I but like I'm, I actually I think Sam Darnold's a better quarterback in the long run. How can run. you say that in though, the long run? Sam Darnold hasn't done anything though. I'm saying in the long run, from what I've seen, I'm gonna have Ryan Tannehill. He's gonna kick your ass outside right now. Dude, yeah, really? He wants to kick you. How fucking Sam Darnold? He he, he played like what eight games or what? Would he play twelve games? So, 
but, but how could you say he's better than Ryan Tannehill? Ryan Tannehill? I'm saying it, because he actually is. Like, like, it, when you look at the last six games he played, he played really well. When you look at the last set of games he played, I he think played Sam, really I, well. I think Sam Darnold's going to be a bust. I'm sorry. I hope not. I hope not. But I think he's going to be a bust. Dude, there's also talks that Miami there's dumps a, Tannehill, man. There's way too I'm not that I'm not like married to Brian Tannehill. There's Brian. way too much pressure on this kid. Brian. This freaking kid um Brian. This kid, what's his name? Uh your boy that we were just talking about? Sammy D. Who? Sam Darnold. Yeah, Sam Darnold. He did too, he's going to have a nervous breakdown this fucking dude. Everybody's talking about this guy like they love him. You're you're saying he's better than Brian. What, what well, the fuck? This guy's gonna have really a saying much. Yeah. Ryan Tannehill is not. Uh, where's Ryan Tannehill he's in the a, echelon of? He's a starting quarterback the, in the NFL. He, he's a top thirty-two quarterback, right? He's, he's that's a, what you're saying. He's he, he's in the top thirty-two. He, but where a, in the top thirty-two? He's a starting quarterback. Where in the top thirty-two starting quarterback? I'm Please just, discount Andy Dalton. You know, I'll tell you, Andy Dalton. I'm not, I'm not a fan of either one of them, but Andy Dalton. I think I used to think he was a jobber, and I watched him. I watched him play a couple times, and I don't know. I I thought he was. I guess I, I'm a sucker. I you know I. I'm not I, saying anybody I, can win listen. me over, but but because I love the game. I love the game, man. If I see you playing your heart out, and I you know I see I see a, a guy like really trying, then you know I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna like him, and I'm gonna wish good things for him. But we gotta keep it real here. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, Ryan Tannehill is not a great quarterback, but he is a starting quarterback in the NFL that has accomplished some things. And Sam Darnold hasn't accomplished anything. Well, because so. Sam Darnold's only played one year. Yeah. Ryan Tannehill's played six, seven. Has he played that much? He's been hurt. He's been hurt. But Ryan Tannehill's he's basically a glorified backup. You know, he really is. He's Ryan a, Tannehill? Yeah, Ryan Tannehill. He's, he, he's, he's like he's, he's just barely – a starting quarterback for the NFL right he's now. He's probably in the top 32, but yeah. he's probably not like breaking the top 20. Yeah. Like he'd probably be the best he'd probably be the best backup in the world. But so I'm just saying like I'm not but you know Sam Darnold my point is not busting your books but the point is 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 that people got some crazy crazy hopes for this kid Sam Darnold and I think it's too much. I think they're expecting way too much from him. I think the pressure and everything I don't know. He just he seems he seems like a good kid, but I don't know. New York fucking. All right, all right. Let's York, let's, let's move to another. Uh, New, York, New York eats people alive, man. That's what this fucking town does. We'll, we'll see what ends up happening. Let's move to a couple of other uh, free agents because we're hitting free agency, motherfuckers. And uh, I think it's gonna be an interesting D a D line or defensive draft. It's also gonna be an interesting defensive free agency. But let's go over some receivers, and then we'll hit some defense, and we'll head out. Sounds good. Yeah. So, a couple of receivers. Golden Tate, Devin Funches, John Brown, Jamison Crowder, Tyrell Williams. Any of those guys make your dick hard. Randall Cobb. Golden Tate. Every time I see Golden Tate play, he plays awesome. I like Golden Why Tate. Why would you not want Golden Tate? If anybody if anybody can afford Golden Tate, you get him right away. He's a little undersized. But the dude is just like. <laughs> well, I think like it's, I it's how much are you paying him. I think any team would want him, but it always comes down to the money. Funches, too. Money, money. He's another one. He's, I'm not a good. fan of Funches. He's a uh, he's. He seemed he. I, I think they had. But if problems you need a him, big though. target, he's just he's not good. He's he's okay. He's uh, but he's got a role. If you're a team that wants to take a flyer on him, I, I think it's gonna be like the Brashad Perriman thing last year, where Brashad Perriman ended up on the Browns and ended up showing that he's got at least some life. By the way, that's another free agent, Brashad Perriman. That sucks about Josh Gordon. I'm so I'm pissed about Josh Gordon, man. I was pulling for him. I feel you. I really was pulling Listen, for man, him. Listen, Browns fan, I, I feel you. You know, he, um, he was doing so well. By the way, we we haven't talked about the Combine, and uh, there's a guy who's very reminiscent of Josh Gordon who just ran at the Combine, D.K. Metcalf. Mm. Dude ran a 4 3 3 40 Whoa. at 229 pounds. Nice. Dude jumped over, uh, over a 40-inch vert. This guy is a sick Athlete. Were, I, I was watching somebody, one of the guys who covers the, um, the thing, and he goes, they were giving him shit, and he goes, yeah, well, I ran, he goes, NFL week, I ran a 3.8, and they were like, what? He was like, yeah, motherfucker, I ran a 3.8. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. <laughs> All right, 
right, so a couple of other – John Brown, I think, is a good – it would be an interesting guy to grab on a couple of teams. Um, I don't, I'm not he says, with John Brown. What? Who's John? Who, who, John Brown who, who, is a small, speedy receiver. He was on the the Ravens last year, and he was Flacco's favorite target when he was on the Ravens. Oh, yeah. Okay. He used to be on the Arizona Cardinals. He goes by the nickname Smokey Brown. I don't remember him. No, I don't know him. I'm not familiar with Back him. Back when Palmer was throwing the ball for the Cardinals. I don't remember him. Um, he's had a couple of injury issues over the okay. years, so that's why he hasn't. He, he, you know, he got paid five million from the the Ravens last year for a one year deal. They're probably not keeping him because he doesn't fit with Lamar Jackson's skill set. Okay, but he fits very well with Joe Flacco's skill set. But I don't think he's going to go to Denver because he has the sickle cell trait. Hey, and what's that this, causes what's this an like, issue. Like, I don't understand. I, I was never a Joe Flacco fan, dude. I never thought Joe Flacco was great. Never. I was never on board. I was never on board. I think he's another one of those guys like Tannehill. He's in the top 30, but he's probably not in the top 20. No, he's better than Tannehill. I mean, he's a super yeah. he What I'm saying, it, he's in yeah. the echelon of quarterbacks. I'm you, saying you know he's not. He, him, he, he's a starter Tan quality, but though, at what level? Tannehill, though, looks like he's at least trying hard. Something about Joe Flacco, it just doesn't look All like the he's money, trying money, money. hard. I don't, know, I, I don't know what it is. It's just the look in his eye. He just doesn't. I don't know, man. You know? Like, I wouldn't hire Joe Flacco to mow my fucking lawn. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A <laughs> couple of other uh, – Tell us how you really feel. A couple of other receivers out there. Tyrell Williams is looking to get a big payday. This guy is a guy on the Chargers. Tyrell Williams on oh, the Chargers. Okay. Yeah, he's a big, tall, long receiver, fast, <coughs> runs fast. Not okay. great route runner, but you know what? He, he could play a role as a good wide receiver, too, in an offense. Well, they got what's-his-name going out now. Yeah. Um, well, because they have Mike Williams, too. Yeah. They had the Williams guys. Williams and Williams and Williams. Um, mm. Sounds like a sounds like a law firm. A uh, couple of uh, slot receivers, Jameson Crowder, Adam Humphreys. I know Randall Jameson Cobb. Crowder. I know Humphreys. Uh, there's always Dante Moncrief. I mean, Moncrief. Um, Philip Dorsett. A bunch of, like, old indie guys that are that – Blew out of their rookie contract, got traded, or just didn't get re-signed. Um, Cole Beasley. I don't think Cole Beasley's – like, Cole Beasley – Oh, they're not getting rid of him, are they? Yeah. What? He, well, he's not getting re-signed. Really? They might try to re-sign him. No, they're going to re-sign him. They're going to they're gonna bargain with him. I, I don't know where he goes, him. though. Like, if he doesn't stay there, I'm the only other place I can oh, think of. Oh, he's a good player. No, no, he'll, he'll catch on somewhere. You know where I think he would catch on? Patriots. That mother – yeah, yeah, absolutely. White slot receiver. Mother- oh, look, we got a replacement no, for Edelman that, no. and Abadola. He, that motherfucker, t- everything he touches, he catches. He He's a good receiver, <laughs> Cole Peasley. So he caught the clap? He, what? Did he? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Right. Everything, though, no, he did that. That dude – Oh, speaking of Amendola, Amendola's a free agent. Just got released by Miami. He's 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 a good one too. He's getting up there, but I couldn't believe the Patriots let him go. The Patriots don't give a fuck, man. Like, it doesn't matter what you win for them. Doesn't matter if you're not Tom Brady. Fuck you. That you know that's 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 their motto. They don't <laughs> sleeper. Here, okay, so I, I just want to talk about tight ends real quick. We'll jump to defense and we'll get out of here. Um, sleeper tight end that I think might get get a. a He's not going to get a great deal, but a tight end who I think is a, a good signing is Tyler Eifert. Had a couple of good year, had a good year a couple of years ago, but he's always been injured. So I think if he lands somewhere really nice, like he can end up being a, a good tool, a good player on a team. Okay, like he's a good, good piece, and be interesting to see where he lands. Uh, I was a big fan. Uh, I've been a big fan of his in the NFL. I've been keeping on hoping he comes back and uh, mm. heals up. Uh, Jared Cook's a free agent, technically. I uh, don't know if he's going to end up being back with the Raiders. Yeah. Uh, there's Nick Boyle. Jared Cook's the running back, just right? Jared with Cook's the, the running back? Jared Cook, no, he's a tight end. Oh, he's a, I'm sorry. You're talking about You're, We're talking about tight ends. That's right. We're talking about tight ends. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's Yes. No, I, I like Cook. I like Cook. Bengals, all three of their tight ends are free agents this year. Tyler Eifert, uh, CJ Uzoma, and Tyler Croft. And I, I don't know if they're going to re-sign any of them. Maybe they'll let them test the market. Tight ends are tough. Are tough. I think the the to interesting find one. find somebody that has that kind of speed and agility at that size, that has that kind of concentration, it's hard, man. It's hard. Offensive tackles. When they have to do it, too. Offensive tackles, guys that are going to get paid in free agency. Uh, Trent Brown, Jawan James, Daryl Williams, those three guys, man. The, uh, actually, Jeremy Parnell is the guy who I was talking about who got released from the the Jags. Mm. Those guys are going to get paid because O-linemen get paid, yeah. and those guys are tackles. 
Juwan James, I think, is a sleeper guy who somebody should grab up because that guy is going to be that piece of your O-line where you're not going to have to worry as much as compared to some guy you're just drafting in the draft or some guy off the street, and you would have a solid right tackle for your team. Like last year, the O-line free agency class was kind of shitty. This year, it's not as bad. Uh, Trent Brown, left tackle this year for the Patriots. You saw how well the Patriots did this year. Although I actually, I will say this. I think Trent Brown's going to get overpaid, and that's why the – and the Patriots are going to let him walk. They're going to – they're gonna play their guy as a win at left tackle. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the Patriots do. I guess they maybe they like hypnotize people. They come in and they sweet talk them. It's the like, comp pick. You want to fu- you want to fucking you want a Super Bowl ring or you want to go over there? You want to go to the Browns? Or you want a Super Bowl ring? Well, Trent Brown. <laughs> Trent Brown was a <laughs> trade from the 49ers. Sorry, well, Joe, I didn't mean to use the Browns. I was just. Well, I'm talking about Trent Brown. Trent Brown was the left tackle for the Patriots. We're talking yeah. about the Patriots. I know, I know. But you're right. Yeah, they do all this. They do some magic. Mishigash and all of a sudden, well, they just trade for Frank Clark. That was not Frank Clark. Um, but, but they get Michael these, Bennett. They Michael get Bennett these, on they the get Eagles. These players to buy in for a year, and I think that some of the players think that, like, hey, you know, if I help them win, you know, maybe the, it'll help me go And they're like, no, man, we win Super Bowls all the time. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jawan James, uh, right tackle for Miami. I already mentioned good pick up and then Daryl Williams is getting a lot of buzz and a lot of connection between uh Buffalo and the Giants because both of those guys uh Brandon Bean who's the GM of the, of Buffalo and uh Gettleman the GM of the Giants were both in Carolina when that guy was drafted now he's a free agent and they're going to try to pick up a right tackle and try to complete those O-lines and I think that'd be an interesting idea because both of those teams need to keep on building uh, like try to build that well, Build up I'm, on yeah, the trench. I mean, I mean, if Giants, if Giants keep Eli, if they start Eli, they, Eli needs a he needs a offensive line that you know they, they can protect, that can pass protect for him, so they can try to have some kind of chance to um, establish something. Yeah, establish some kind of because once teams know that your O line sucks and they just plan for that. You yeah, know? like it, 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 that's what a lot of people don't realize. It, you know, the, the, the strategies and all this stuff that they go through all the time. With all these teams, this is very intricate. Let's talk about some uh, interior offensive linemen. Uh, Matt Paradise is probably the one that I would say is maybe the biggest name on the market. Interior is not as good this year as some previous years, as uh, as far as uh, as far as the free agency market goes, and even draft wise too. There's some guys in the draft that are going to be interesting, and we'll talk about that next week. Uh, Roger Saffold, guard, 30 years old, leaving. This is my big worry with the Rams. I think they're going to start. They're not going to do as well as the next couple years come along. I was saying this before. Whitworth, Whitworth is the left tackle now. He is coming back, but you never know. If Whitworth goes down, I think that team's going to have a hard time, especially they're losing Saffold. Uh, their right tackle's pretty good, but, you know, like, again, you lose pieces to an O-line that made you successful and was one of the top O-lines last year, and you start losing pieces. Very hard to keep maintaining success, especially when your offensive line is a very big part of why you're winning. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, DJ Fluker, Mike Capati, uh, I already mentioned Saffold. TJ Lang got released from the Lions. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, not a lot of interior O line that, that that really make you know make you really want to go after them. Saffold's probably the biggest one. Uh, talk about some edge guys. I think the big guy in the market's Trey Flowers, man. Mm. Uh, Trey Flowers. There's a Darius Smith who's from the Ravens. He's going to be a sleeper signing for somebody somewhere uh, for a team that runs a three four. I'm thinking maybe he goes to the Packers because they run a that that would fit very well with Mike Patton's I scheme. If Clay, is Clay Matthews still playing? He's he's got to be getting up there, man. Yeah, uh, that like, team is going to be. I keep seeing him play. He's got kind of competitive. He's like well, getting. All, you know what it is? You have that guy who he's can. Get, he's getting all these. Um, he's getting all these. Penalties, right? Like he's getting a lot of uh, roughing the passer penalties. He got a lot of those last year. It was was like that first three weeks, four weeks. Every week he'd get one. Uh, Zadarius Smith, we talked about Justin Houston, Dante Fowler, who actually is rumored the Rams do want him back. So we'll probably see something this week as as uh, tomorrow's tampering period. Yeah, I think I think what they do is it's it's that's one of the problems with the social media. It's manipulated and it's um you know. People, you never know if they're if they're trying to just test to see what the market is, and then they're going to keep the guy anyway. Yeah. Um, well, know, that's the point of the ploy. 
So I mean, it's it's. I, I think a lot of that's going to happen, especially with the with the offensive line guys. Yeah. I think they're going to get retained, um, and I think the um, the defensive the end guys too. I think the end guys too. I think. You know, when you're dealing with that. Preston uh, Smith from the Redskins, he's going to probably get a deal somewhere, whether he's coming back to the Redskins or somewhere else. Uh, Ziggy Ons is an interesting one because he's already – he's 29 already, man. I can't believe he's almost out on he, – he's finished with a rookie deal. He, you know, came back on a franchise tag, and he's 29 already. But you know what? DNs, pass rushers, they last pretty long. 29 is a weird age because sometimes 29 is a good age because you have somebody who's an adult. Who's oh, no, Clay Matthews again. is uh, is a free agent on here. Shit, he's, he might not be re-signed. Uh, there's Shane Ray and Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett's going to be a sleeper one, man. That's the guy because he kind of got pushed under uh, because of Bradley Chubb and they wanted to utilize him more. Man, can you imagine if you're, like, sitting around and you're just, like, waiting to figure out what, you know. Can you imagine what it's like for these guys to sit around and just wait? See what kind see, of contract they're going to get. It's like Christmas. Their fate is. It's like Christmas. Some of them to see if they're even a football player anymore. That's true, right? too. Um, you know, like Clay Matthews, man. Like, I'd be surprised if he's even still playing, dude. How many years has he been playing? He's got to be playing like 15 years, right? be interesting to see where some of those guys land, though. Uh, Ziggy Ansa and Houston are the ones I think are the most interesting um, because they're probably uh, – so I did, think did Mike McCarthy names. get hired yet? No. He's taking a year off. Oh, oh, oh he's taking a year off? I was yeah. going to say, what the fuck is he not doing hired? Um, Not for nothing. Like, you know, he didn't adapt to the game. Uh, a couple of D-line. Uh, and the interior D-line free agency. Mike McCarthy didn't agency. adapt to. Oh, we'll, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll have a conversation on our Mike McCarthy views on another day. Let's get <laughs> let's clear this up. Um, <laughs> interior you, D, Interior D-line free agency is going to be interesting because you got – Ndamukong Su, Sheldon Richardson, Darius Phillips, Malik Jackson, Timmy Jernigan. Just a lot of guys. Henry Anderson. I'm shocked the Jets didn't re-sign him. Uh, Sheldon Richardson and Ndamukong Su are going to be the ones that are, are that are going to be the interesting ones to see where they land. Because I want the Browns to sign Sheldon Richardson. Now, they might go for Su and give him a one-year deal. Because Su's been kind of playing it like... Like a tour, like I don't a, like a money this, tour. Uh, Sue, I don't think I don't like him. I think he's he's poison. I don't like that guy. I don't like anybody with neg. I don't like any negativity in the in the locker room, man. With me, I wouldn't I wouldn't have Antonio Brown. I wouldn't have anyone like that. I'd be done. They'd be done. They'd be done. They'd be done. Done. Not in my locker room. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Or or I would say, listen, Antonio, we'll give you one shot. You just shut up and catch the ball. That's it. That's all I need you to do. You know, because it's just like I used to do independent film production, man. It's just like oh, Mo Wilkerson's a free agent like, too, man. What's with all these ex-Jets guys that are like pollute your set? You have somebody pollute your team, your locker room. Yeah, that's your foundation, man. Once that's polluted, you're fucked. What's with all the Jets guys? These Jets D linemen that were first round picks who were good players, and they're because they go to the Jets. Because they go to the Jets. Yeah, well, but they went to other teams. I feel bad. Well, I also think fans. I think uh, Minnesota couldn't resign them. <laughs> Did you ever see that shit with um with Joe Namath when he was all drunk on the air and shit? You ever see that shit? Oh, that's hysterical, man. We gotta watch that sometime. No, that's for another show, though. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a lot. The interior linebacker class: <laughs> C.J. Mosley, Jordan Hicks, Quan Alexander. I can't wait to see where some of these guys go. Quan Alexander's an interesting one because that was a he was a star linebacker, man. I I, I like Quan. Um, uh, we're gonna probably have to cut short though. Uh. I know Anthony Barr is another one. I kind of want to see where he lands. He's been tagged with a lot of teams. He's been tagged with uh, the Jets. Been cha- tagged with uh, the Lions. I think the Lions would love him. Mm. That's a team. Yo, you want to see him being used at his full potential? Matt Patricia getting to use Anthony Barr. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm. You know, I don't know about the Lions, man. I'm not sure. I think ever since and they – Ever since they paid, what's his face? I don't think he's been as good. It's a weird cornerback class as far as free agency goes. You know what I'm saying? Ronald Ever Darby. since they paid friggin' Matthew Stafford, I don't think he's been as good, man. Yeah. All right, so we'll we'll hopefully we'll, we'll tag back in on what what goes on this week in free agency. I kind of like this new setup. This uh, I think we should do this more. Whatever, man. Because this problem makes it so. Next time our cocks will be out though. <laughs> Well, we have to put that on on red tube or something. No, don't worry. Next time our cocks will be out, we'll just have a little fucking Christmas tree block in it. Peace out, motherfuckers. The light bearer.